Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to introduce a predator of the mining rigs, one that might be called as the miner killer, one that has the possibility to change the entire mining industry. So, what is it? Let's have a look. Well, this box looks kind of dull, but what exactly is inside this plain box? That's what miners first. Official immersion cooling miner, the M56. I'm sure you all have been suffering from the inefficiency of current air cooling miners, and some of you may have considered updating to immersion cooling. However, the lack of official firmware and support, as well as the void in warranty, can be an obstacle if you try immersion cooling with current air cooling miners. But these will all be changed with this M56. I can't wait to see it. Wow! What's this? This official immersion cooling miner is so different from traditional air cooling ones. It looks more like a cuboid, much neater than older ones, as no fans are needed thanks to immersion cooling technology. The two handles here make it easier for us to lift them up and put them into the immersion cooling tanks. The PSU is integrated into the cuboid with a power supply of three phases, 380 volts to 480 volts, which means a smaller electric current compared with traditional designs, much safer to run. Pre-designed holes at the bottom and upper part of the mining rig optimize the coolant flow, thus getting better cooling effort. Now let's have a look at the label. It says here that the nominal computing power is 184 tower hash. Power consumption ratio is 29 joules per tower hash. So we can calculate that the total power is 5,278 volts. But these figures are without overclocking. What's minor I'm 56? Actually, officially supports overclocking, and even with a warranty of that. Sounds incredible. You know, if you try current air cooling miners with immersion cooling, you mostly lose the official warranty, not to mention overclocking. I'm quite curious about the actual performance of this miner. So let's go to Fukuhashin's lab to have a look. We're going to test it with Fukuhashin C1. This is the world's first immersion cooling tank to target an individual or decentralized home or office mining. We released it at CES, the planet's most influential tech event in January of 2022. Unlike some other immersion cooling providers with plain engineers, the core team forecasting has successfully developed some hot sale Xiaomi ecosystem products. The Xiaomi ecosystem experience, together with Stern Labs of the world's top universities of computing and energy engineering, lead to pioneering R&D ability, as well as solid reputation in this industry. Fukashi also co-tested Shell's cooling fluid for crypto mining sharing data to assist the petrochemical giant to tailor its products for the mining industry. That's why Fukashin can cooperate with Wasminer and has the privilege of testing Wasminer's first immersion cooling rig and giving feedback to them before its official release. After two weeks of testing, we gave some feedback to Wasminer and we can also have a glance at some. At this moment, the temperature inside this tank is 55 Celsius, that's 131 Fahrenheit. The noise of the tank is... The noise of the dry cooler outside is... In case you don't know the meaning of these numbers, here's a chart to help you understand them better. We can see the noise of the tank is around 47 dBA between the computers and the refrigerators. No doubt that you can put it at home. The noise of the dry cooler outside is about 64 dBA. 
similar to an air conditioner. No worries about disturbing your neighbors. Now let's have a look at the minor status on the screen of the computer. At this time, the computing power of I'm 56 is 215 terahash. The power consumption is 6938 watts. Overclock rate is around 17%. It can actually run much better than that. Our test report shows the highest overclock ratio can be around 27 to 30%. But what minor set a limitation to that? Too much overclocking can lead to voiding of the official warranty. Please refer to what's minus official warranty policy. Now let's have a summary of what's minus I'm 56 characteristics from my perspective. First, it's tailored for immersion cooling. The air cooling model's refitting procedure, such as removing fans and adding the fine simulators, etc., is not needed to ease your deployment. Second, it's got official immersion cooling support, including official firmware and official warranty. Third, it can run super silently, thanks to immersion cooling technology, provide an opportunity to put at home or offices or mining farms near the residential area. Fourth, I think it's attractive because it's got official overclocking feature to gain more income. Fifth, the coolant's protection can expand the miner's lifetime, isolating the miner from air and dust. Last but not least, it can improve the stability of the miners thanks to immersion cooling technology. So what do you think about what's miner's first official immersion mining rig? Do you agree that it will be the game changer in this industry? Would you like to buy it when it releases? These are the questions that I'd like to ask you my dear friends, besides Focus and C1 products, what's minus I'm 56 also works well with Focus and B6 series, which can hold six miners inside, both suitable for individual users and mass deployment. For big mining farms, Focus and BC20, BC40 containers, and a micro version of both are also perfect matches of what's minus I'm 56. The mining industry has always been accused of being a waste of energy. However, heat recovery may change that. All Focus products can be used to heat your home, the swimming pool, or even a greenhouse for planting. And this may transform your heating cost into heating income, heating while earning. Now let's have a look how we warm our office with this solution. So this is Peter, Focus's chief mouser. You know cats love warm and cozy places. So he's playing in a reading corner at Focus. I'm going to explain this mining while heating concept using thermal imaging. As you can see here, the miners are mining while generating heat in Focus's tank. But we don't distribute the heat to the dry coolers outside the house. Instead, we transfer the heat from coolant inside the tank to the water flow outside the tank and use some pumps to send it to our office through some pipelines buried underground. The water flow carries the heat, travels a distance, and finally reaches the heating radiator. Let's have a look at the temperature of this heating radiator. The temperature can be changed according to the performance of the miner inside the immersion tank. In order to protect the mining rig from being overheated, the coolant inside the tank is normally said to be no more than 65 Celsius or 149 Fahrenheit. Counting the heat loss during the transport from the tank to the radiator, that leaves the normal temperature of the radiator to between 40 and 60 Celsius, or between 104 and 140 Fahrenheit. Besides heat recovery, Fulcajan is also developing solar mining solutions to reduce individuals' mining energy costs while making the whole industry greener.
at CES 2022, full cash brought the world's first decentralized immersion tank, C1, to the global stage of CES, the most influential tech event on the planet. That product significantly drew public attention and went on hot sale afterwards. At CES 2023, Fulcushion will release its latest product of C2, which can meaningfully drop the cost of decentralized immersion cooling per manner. Fulcushion will also publish its latest design of the world's first all-in-one immersion miner, IMH M56, deeply integrated with what's miner's first immersion mining rig inside. And of course, you can see what's minus on 56 in a close distance at Full Cushion's booth. See you at CES 2023 from January 5th to January 8th in Las Vegas. Where's I'm 56? There. World's first immersion cooling. Uh, cat?